Hello and welcome back to PAX. My name is Ben. I'm joined by the wonderful Revan. And today has just started off so, so well. I mean, we have a fantastic game of Call of Duty going on in front of us. Obviously, got Phase versus Complexity. And as well as that, on the side stage, Unite Gaming are going up against Bad History. And we can't, we have to been informed, Unite are actually one nil up in that series as well. So that's going to give them their third map of the event so far. So we're going to try and keep track of all the maps that these teams are winning. But the next map, Revan, search and, uh, sorry, CTF on standoff. And we were saying Complexity, well, <laughs> You just give them a CTF and they're going to win it no matter what. Yeah, and we've seen them time and time again on this map. And most recently against Reckless, one of our pro schools, where they beat them 10-0. Yeah. to it, it got a little bit, a little bit, a little bit out of hand. <laughs> got a little bit out of hand extremely quickly. And, you know, even even the, these guys when they were playing at one flag CTF, on pro streams, you know, obviously a bit of a variation for CTF, but they just seem dominant uh, anyway. They just know how the game works and feels, and they just really are the team to beat here at this Invitational. And we also saw Hastro as well walking around on, on your screen. He's here, obviously coaching Team Envious, and Envious didn't have the best of starts of the day, but hopefully they can pick it up later on. Yeah, at least they were able to win a match. So that's putting up that's any very points true. on the board, that's good. But coming into this map, I think complexity, they're favored. But I was talking a bit about FaZe coming into this game. Spacely, this is his map, man. He's going to want to sneak around, yes. get behind complexity, and try to get those sneaky pulls out where his teammates do the defensive work. But also keep in mind, Sentry Guns, they're a lot for his turn. MLG, we've made no changes to our rule sets, Ken. We don't have to. Sentry Guns, easy counter for him. Either equip a Black exactly. Hat with Engineer or get an EMP grenade on it. And you might have to get creative with your EMP grenades by throwing <laughs> against walls. Throw them on the outskirts it works of the map though, right? and, and just try to get it. Yeah, it, it works. works. If, if it works, you know, you, you can use it. So, obviously, a lot of people complaining about Sentry Guns, but at the end of the day, as you said, so easily countable. Probably one of the easiest to counter streaks out there. And right now, who do you want to get on board with to start things off on this? I want to watch Spacely. I want to see how he really? maneuvers okay. around the map, where he positions himself. If you're an objective player looking how to play capture flag on Santa, if I would recommend go watch him Spacey, but it looks like Complexity T, he knows exactly what Spacey's known for doing. They're going to meet up here in the back alley, Spacey comes out on top, first blood goes to him. Nice place, now he's just going to stop pushing down this right side, immediately turns around though, looks like he just wants to make sure Complexity don't get a quick pull, and he saw Aix pick up that kill, and that's exactly why he's rotated back towards this blue side, and is he going to be able to see Aix? Aix currently actually bottom brown, there he is, should pick up the kill, as long oh! as Aix doesn't turn okay. on him, that got a little bit dangerous for Spacey right there, but did pick up that second kill and now can start thinking about trying to be a little bit more aggressive with the SMG and see if he can try and pull a flag. He's going to meet, meet TP once again near bottom wood. Oh, oh okay. Oh, 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 no. He's going to win that engagement there. So he got revenge off the start, but three down right now for complexity. Eight. Oh, that's one alive, and he's currently in the midst of a gun battle over your middle courtyard, but you see replays on your main map. He's trying to get as much position as he can for phase. You see where he's located. You see where the members of complexity now. Look at what they did off the respawn. They rotated back and they're going to try to do some defensive work here as they're going to hold off the push from phase, but also you got Aix spawn out near the back alley. Even he rotated back. Yeah, he, he had to. He actually spawned pretty much next to someone there, next to Slack. And the flag has been pulled. He's going to need to try and get a big hit. The two plays in front of him. Did not expect that through the smoke grenade. Replay shuts him down. Huddle with that flag. He's trying to escape. Unfortunately, he ran straight towards TP. Flag has been returned. But watch out for replays, Revan. He's still sat on that complexity flag. He knows someone to his left-hand side. He's laid out at the perfect. That is what you call perfect timing. That You could not get luckier than that. All right, so five kills for for replays. We know those score streaks in capture flag, they're so important, especially yes. the flag stopping score streaks, the line strike, the Hellstorm missile. And he's working towards his Hellstorm right now, but he's only got four bursts left. In the meantime, you see Krim. He's actually pulled the flag for Complex, and he's already through gas. Oh, you see the members nade. for phase. They're trying to push through, but here comes Krim with the flag. He touches the flag, gets the Hellstorm missile, finding more flags over the other well, There's Kaser, but oh, with the knife out. Oh, he's just trying to get out of there. Krim with the kill. Complexity, are they going to be able to cap the he's flag? Be the fire. And there you go. And that just emphasizes how good Complexity are at CTF. They were three players pinned in their back of the spawn. Faze, so aggressive, pulling the flag time and time again. Absolutely nothing Complexity can do. Then out of nowhere, Krim overextends, pulls the flag, and before you know it, they have control over their own base. They run a flag in, now they have a 1-0 lead, and they have Krim, more importantly, with streaks. Yeah, Replays made the best of that situation, but here comes Faze as they've just taken out three members of Complexity. So Teep is the last one alive, and you know what I want to do, Benson? I want to head right into a Turtle Beach team chat with Complexity here on Capture the Flag standoff. We have captured the enemy flag. 
Our flag has been taken. Our flag is secure. We have the enemy flag. We have the enemy flag. We have the enemy flag. Their flag. Be advised, hostiles have returned their flag. Our flag has been taken. They dropped our flag. Check your timeline. Enemy flag acquired. Our flag is secure. All right, as we come out of that Turtle draw. Beach team chat replays, he just went off in that first half <laughs> for a face. He's fully streaked out, wow. and he finished 14 and 3. And he just went on a rampage. I believe it was an 8 streak before he actually finally got taken down. And amongst that, you actually saw them pull a flag and cap a flag as well. So trying to even things out against Complexity, it's very tough, though, because Complexity, as we said, Capture such a dominant flag. CTF team. But going into the second side, we're going to have things all squared at one flag apiece. And... You kind of have to watch out for replays. Obviously, he has that sentry gun. You've just seen him drop that down right at the very back of his spawn. Also has that lightning strike. And you look at the rest of the team from FaZe. No one else has streaks. And looking at every complexity as well, none of them have streaks. So re really, the only player with any flag-stopping streak at this point is going to be replays. Yeah, he's got that lightning strike, which could be so effective. So let's stick on board with him. You saw him throw down the sentry gun off the start of the round, throwing out the trophies as well. But I'm really interested to see how complexity responds because they're going to figure out that they have a sentry gun in the back pretty soon. Yeah, they should do, and whether they're going to switch out the classes, that's something to keep your eye out for. They haven't actually seen the Sentry Gun as of yet, so they're not to know it's there. Obviously, things still level at one flag apiece as we hit the four-minute mark of the second oh. side. Watch out for Huddle. He has four kills. Slack as well with three. All the phase plays really starting to heat up now. Slack. He's who I'm keeping my eye out on for. He has the B23R halfway towards the Hellstorm missile, Revan. And this could be a huge, huge play from FaZe. All right, so maybe some first game jitters for FaZe because they're looking really good here in Capture Flag. As I'm going to switch over to Spacey. He's about to find Aix over near the back alley. And Aix, he's the guy with EMPs for Complexus. So he's got two on his price. He's been trying to sneak around. And he's doing a pretty good job at it. He's gotten close to the Green Warehouse both yep. times, but cleaned up just short. And there's actually an EMP spot. If you go inside the stables, yeah, you can if you throw it inside the corner there, yeah. it will take out the central in the back. It's a very, very sneaky spot, and I'm assuming complexity is going to know about it. <laughs> well, well, we'll have a look at Aix and see if he can try and maneuver his way across. Has one player on the left-hand side. He's obviously using a Scorpion there. Wasn't able to pick up that kill. Replays with the M8 yay. shuts him down. And we're saying, yay. Uh, he's got a blackout. No engineer, so he's going to have to Our maintain sight here on the center gun, but he's going to find it here. And there you go. He's trying oh, to hack it through the wall, but it. that's Our why he got engineer on it. He wasted it hacking the sentry, uh, not the sentry, the trophy. The trophy. Yeah, that's unfortunate from Clayster. However, his teammates are going to try and get some control. He's all by himself right now. There's three players from FaZe who are going to try and circle. One should come behind Clayster, and this should be the end of Clayster in a few seconds' time. Surely, where is he? There he is, and Clayster turns oh! on him. That would have been <laughs> disgusting not to be there. Clayster gets taken down. Aix with three kills to his name right now. Very close to helpful missile. Needs to be careful. Does not want to get taken down by that sentry. Man, if Clayster had Engineer on instead of Tavin Mask right there, oh, no God. more sentry gun. Aix just destroyed two people there, but did get taken down. It's like you said, that Engineer perk. You can't stress how important that is if you're going to try and take down those, those sentry guns. Yeah, that combined with the black hat, such a great counter to the sentry gun, but enough about that. You see Clacer on your screen once again. He's going to go at it one more time, trying to go through the wall, but 
You know, with that engineer, it's going to be pretty tough to keep that line of sight, but I think he's going to get it here. No more sentry gun. Nice plays from Kalista. And I can actually hit him from here, <laughs> screaming, nice, let's go. They got rid of that sentry gun. Now they can start thinking about trying to pull that flag. But that sentry gun acted as a bit of a deterrent yeah. for almost three minutes of this second side. So that's three minutes, really, where FaZe have just been like, well, we don't really have to worry about them pulling off line. Also, keep in mind, replays, he's still at the lightning strike. But yes. while he's dead, of course, he can't call that bad boy in. So Slack, he's starting to heat up on a three. Kills for you. I want to pop up our scoreboard here as the action is going to come down over near the playground side of the map. And it looks like FaZe, they're heavily outsliding complexity. They are, and that's something you don't normally see in a game of CTF. And right now, Slacked, as you said, he's heating up, make that five kills to his name. Close to the Hellstorm. Can he find the kill on the left-hand side? His teammate, Huddle, comes to the rescue, shuts down Clayster. And with 1 minute 42, it could come all down to one individual play. And if Slacked is able to get those streaks, that could be the play that could win phase this game. Yeah, and right, he's going to find one here. Can he pick up the kill? Yes, he can. Needs one work to get that Hellstorm missile working towards the Lightning and Sentry after that. But we see on the minimap, Clayster, he's going to post something there. Oh, and they're so focused on killing Slack right now. Clayster, oh man, Slack, he's got to thank Huddle because he just saved his life right there. <laughs> he really just did. Uh, one big thing we have to point out is when is replays going to use that Lightning Strike Revan? Can he use it aggressively in the last one minute? I, I, do you reckon that's what he's going to do? Is that a smart play? Absolutely not. If you look at the defensive posture for complexity, they're going to be inside the building. That's going to yep. protect them from the lightning strike. So you don't want to use it aggressively here. I think if he saves it for overtime, he'll use it there. But in the meantime, he wants to just save it until he absolutely has to use it. Meanwhile, you have Slack desperate to try and get those streaks. Still on that sixth streak. He looks like he may actually get pinched here. Someone jumps nice. in. Thank you very much. That's going to pick up his health on missile. Can he find someone else? There should be a player going to challenge him any second now. Wants to try and earn that sentry gun. Already managed to pick up the lightning strike as well. There is going to be someone in the corner. Stays alive. Just needs to try and regen a little bit of health. He's probably going to get charged. Still alive. No idea how oh. it was placed there. Finally, he does get shut down. So no sentry gun for him. But did manage to earn the health storm. Uh oh, was that the line? Uh oh, here comes the pull from TP. He's going to be running this one all the way over near the playground side of the map. 25 seconds remaining. Okay. Here comes the health storm. It's going to stop TP for the time being. But he got that pre far across the map. It's going to be Ace flying up. And now replays Ace using that lightning up. strike. Ace, he gets cleaned up. Who's in position for complexity? It's, it's going to be Clayster trying to pick up another lightning strike. So three scorchings consecutively <laughs> used by FaZe. But it looks like they're finally going to be able to get the return. So we're going into overtime, folks. But FaZe, they just used all of their score streaks. They have absolutely nothing left. And that was such big play there from Complexity. In a way, they just completely deemed all of FaZe's streaks completely useless in one flag pull. They managed to keep the flag alive time and time again. Some great anchoring enabling to keep spawning on that flag. And now going into overtime, we're going to have pretty much an even game, Revan. All right, so off the start of overtime. First off, if you don't know how it worked, it's pretty much a stopwatch overtime. Yes. One team caps the flag on, let's say, a minute 30. We switch sides, and then the other team has a minute 30 on the clock to try to cap back. But let's look at our scoreboard here. 25 and 10 for replays. He's leading his team, but Slack also 23 and 12. As still phased, they're heavily outsliding complexity, but despite that, we have a tie game. You have a timed game indeed. It's also worth mentioning as well, if you guys want to try and vote on the next game that could come on the main stage, it's either going to be Saul versus Caliber or Impact versus Bad History. The way you have to do it is hashtag MLG and then hashtag Saul versus Caliber or Impact versus Bad History. So make sure you guys are voting on that. Yeah, we'll get a lower third thrown up on your screen shortly, but Aix, he gets shut down on top of the blue roof. It's going to be Clayster. Makes some moves with his butt partner in crime. It's going to be Crim6 right next to him, and they've got some good position near the face flag. There goes Crim, but Clay, he gets the revenge kill. Now the push for complexity, it's stopped, and now it's going to be phase on the aggression. You see replays. He's going to get position over near the green warehouse, and he's going to meet up with TP here shortly. This is really, really good play coming in from phase as well. They're keeping complexity on the back foot, and that's something very rare to see, especially, especially with complexity. I mean, they're just such an aggressive CTF team, one of the best in the world right now, and FaZe are doing such a good job. They managed to take them over to overtime, but the big question, Revan, is can you see FaZe taking the CTF? You know, it's definitely possible. I think using all of those score sheets to get one return was, you know, a bit excessive. But they but needed to do yeah, it. They had, obviously, they had to get the return. To do it. But, you know, using those score sheets in overtime, it's going to be so helpful. Now, yeah. They're back to square one here, but replays did a great job there, forcing the rotation from complexity as he's pushing over near the side of the green warehouse. They all had to rotate back to try to clean him up, so good job by him. Now you got Spacely. Spacely's going to be doing some defensive work, and there you see on your screen, vote for the next match on the main stage, either hashtag sort versus caliber, hashtag impact versus bad history, but most importantly, if you want to vote, hashtag MLG, otherwise your vote just doesn't count, man. Yeah. Vanishes on the interwebs. Make sure you are using that hashtag MLG. And right now, back on the stopwatch. Obviously, round number three of two here on CTF standoff. I'm looking at Aix right now as he's making his way around the outside. He's going to get taken down. And once again, it's just FaZe controlling 
the math and just really putting complexity on the back foot and it's kills like that from Spacely and Huddle which just really are cementing that and we're going to get on board with should, you, should we stay on board with replays right now? Well he's not really doing much it's going where it's like he's being a bit more aggressive around the map but you know we've been talking about it all game long phase they're clearly outslaying complexity but it's by having so many more kills in their favor they were unable to win in regulation now we're in overtime Aches, he finds slack so let's just pop up the scoreboard one more time you see that that gap between kills, it's closing sure, slowly but surely. Complexity, they're starting to warm up. They're starting to find their rhythm and capture a flag. You got Slack back on your screen here. He's going to find one player. He takes out eights right there. But I think whoever is able to get those score streaks first is going to be able to take overtime here. Watch out for Crimzix as well. You can see on your mini map that orange arrow right by the face flag. He's actually managed to pick up a kill there. Can he find the second? Oh. Yes, he can. Big plays being made from Crim. Can he now try and pull the flag? That's going to be the question. He needs to try and rush straight in towards that tractor side to force face to spawn on the overextend. Oh, Unfortunately, down. just took a little too long. Huddle's going to clean him up, and that flag should be returned by FaZe. Meanwhile, you've got Spacely. He's overextending on that right-hand side, trying to make some plays for FaZe. All right, and he finds one in the middle quarter. There goes TP. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. So Space me now on your screen. He's going to be one more complexity player, but I like what he's doing. Just taking it slow, waiting for his teammates to push up as far up on the map that he is, and then they're going to make a team push here. So Aix finds one. Here comes Spacey for the cleanup kill. He's going to find him here, but Aix picks up both kills. Looking at Krim, he's going to get taken down as well. So this first side, very, very passive indeed, and you have to say that's probably just because FaZe had to burn three flag-stopping score streaks before we went into this overtime, and it, it was essential. They had to do it because Complexity held the spawns down and they kept the flag alive. So some good initiative from them, but you know, back on, on the stopwatch, still no nil as we approach the last 70 seconds of this first side. And I'm having a look at Aix right now. He's in a very aggressive position. Might have to pick up one kill. Slack is going to be run. There's going to be two for Aix. Picks up the assist and the kill. Can he now try and run the flag? So well, close to streaks. Oh, he touches the flag and pulls it. Oh! And turns around. Big kill from Huddle. Yeah, unfortunate circumstances for Aix. Just getting swarmed by so many FaZe players. But now replays, he's back on your screen. He's been the lead slayer for FaZe throughout this whole capture flag. Guys, now I'm going to switch over to Huddle. Aix doing some defensive work there. You see the picture and picture as Huddle leaves up the kill on Krem. And both these teams, they're just training blows back and forth, back yep. and forth. But what I'm seeing from Kleisty is that they love to be aggressive down the middle of the street. They go down the mid street, they yep. take control of your tank, they hop up on your roof, and then they pinch you in from there. Whereas FaZe, they're taking a more, I want to say, a defensive-oriented mindset oh, moving into this map, where on this map, they're just kind of hanging back as they pick up kills, then they push up, then they set up, and they pick up more kills, and eventually they'll get some flag kills from there. But 20 seconds remaining in the first half of overtime now. If nobody caps on this first half, whoever caps first on the next one will win. Yep. And I've just had a quick flick through both teams. No one with any streaks. The closest player in the game right now is Huddle. And he's around about a third of the way to picking up his health on the last five seconds. Can he try and pick oh, up a kill? No, no he can't. Aix puts a stop to that. And he's actually going to give himself a two piece as well. Exactly. So we've got to watch out for him on that second side. But right now, we have a tied game of CTF. Complexity obviously took that first game of half point against FaZe. Can FaZe do what no one would expect on CTF and take the map from Complexity? Well, it's still possible now. It's all going to come out to this initial breakout. If Complexity win the breakout or if FaZe win the breakout, they're going to put themselves in a great position off the start because they're going to have map control initially. But also, you got to pay attention to the back alleyways on this map. If Spacely's able to sneak through, Ace is able to sneak through, or TP, you know, they're going to do some damage over there. Well, as you said, Aix, around about halfway to that health missile, so keep your eye out on him for now. He's going to be highlighted on your mini-map. In fact, we'll get on board with Aces. Oh, he picks up one but can't find the second. Immediately taken down uh -oh. by Slacks. And that's uh -oh, that's, that's down. down. Can they pull the flag? Spacey's going to be on it. He's going to try and pull he it. got one bullet, Spacey. How's right. he going to do it? <laughs> so he's going to reload his gun. He's going to be able to Crimson right here. And he's going to get some extra points for getting killed with the flag. Oh, oh he gets shut down there. But great initial push from FaZe right there. And good defensive hold as well from Complexity. But Spacey almost got some score streaks right there. That could have been a flag cap for phase if they just had the proper support for Spacely there. He, he kind of pulled the flag and he was like, what do I do yeah, now? I can't <laughs> go anywhere Where do here. I go? The, the spawns were split. He had absolutely no choice. Had to try and make an individual play and unfortunately just couldn't do it that time. And FaZe actually had three down, but they've done well to just confirm the flag and just make sure that it is going to be safe. Complexity now pushing up. Watch out for Aix pushing down the middle of the map as well as that TP trying to control boxes. He's going to shut down replays. Can Aix people kill? No, he can't. Huddle's going to clean him up. And once again, battle for map control. It's worth mentioning as well, Revan. If nobody caps a flag in overtime, we got to do another round of overtime. We, we go to an well, the but whole we game start we play, overtime. We restart yeah. the whole thing. So craziness. All right, so slack on your screen. Two kills for you. Never mind. He's dead. It's gonna be Krim. 
picking up two kills. So two currently down for phase. Huddle and Slack off respawn. And now Complexity, they're going to make their move. Look at how they all move in unison, but they forgot about one player. It's going to be a replays behind enemy lines here. He's ready to go for a pull whenever his teammates make the defensive pull. Well, Complexity have dedicated themselves there with four people pushing up, and the flag has now been pulled by replays. Watch out for him if he picks up this kill in. Oh, yeah, yes. he does. He shuts down TP. That's now going to give him license to push this right hand side. Only one Complexity player, Krim, can put a stop to that. The flag has been dropped as well, so Complexity are not pulling it. It's down to Krim 6 to go big for his team here. Has one, uh -oh. and he's going to get taken down. This could well be a flag by FaZe. Clay is going to have to try and do some defensive work. Tries to throw the stun. Is it going to connect? Oh, Grenade comes in. Play. What? Grenade comes in. It's all up to Aix here. The flag is still dropped. It's going to be it's capped, it. though, by Huddle as wow. FaZe. They take capture flag standoff in the overtime against Complexity. So they put up a point of their own, and now we're going to game three. We're going to see who can take the series here. Unbelievable last ditch effort there from FaZe. Slacked with a big, big kill, just defending off Complexity. And that's something that <laughs> you're not used to looking at. You look over at Complexity, Silence and FaZe. That was a big round from them. They know they've got the momentum going into this Search and Destroy now. Huge, huge round. Wow, 38-30 for a huddle. 40-37 and 37 for Aix, but his teammates didn't help him out in the slaying departments. Complexity, they dropped that capture of flag map with Benson. I think you and a lot of the fans out there, they did not expect that one to happen. Not at all. CTF, definitely Complexity's strongest game mode and phase. They did well. I mean, we were talking about they wasted those streaks mm -hmm. before they went into overtime, and that was a bit concerning because they burnt three. They burnt a health one and two lightnings, and, you, you know, you, you just kind of sat there thinking, well, that's, that, a, lot of score that's a lot of score streaks to waste on just one flag. But Complexity, to their benefit, they kept that flag alive. It was just great play from them and forced FaZe to use those streaks. But then going into overtime, first side, no caps at all. Very, very passive. Second side, FaZe, not wasting any time. Put Complexity's backs against the wall and produced a fantastic flag gap. Yeah, I think they capped it in a total of two minutes and two seconds. So yeah. great job by FaZe. But if we remember all the way back at UMG Atlanta where we last saw the FaZe guys, they struggled a bit in search and destroy, mainly search on Express. Thankfully for them, that's not going <laughs> to be the map here in the, the three-game format. You're not going to be seeing any Yemen hardpoint or Express search and destroy. But it looks like well, it's not standoff. They don't have the map. It might be standoff, search, stand and destroy. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's going to be standoff, search, and destroy. And I believe Unite are actually 2-0 up in their game right now. So that's going to oh. give them a map total of four maps already. I think something to keep in mind as well is I don't think Fizzer is with the Bad History guys right now. Oh, He's like. missing an action. Uh, so okay. I think Unite, they're playing that four on three. So we're going to head to a quick commercial break. And when we return, game three between Complexity and Phase Competitive. <laughs> 